close your eyes and watch your breath. There are lots of different things you could be thinking about right now, but for the time being, you put them all aside. You want to do something better with your mind than just thinking about this, that, and the other thing. You want to develop some good qualities inside. This is the Buddha's principle of karma. We're born into situations that we're depend on our past karma. And some of those situations may be good, some of them may not. But regardless of the, of the situation, we always it's a possibility of doing something skillful in that situation, of being generous, of refraining from doing harm. That's taking what may not be a very good situation, actually turning it into something good, now and on into the future. So those are the skills the Buddha teaches. He doesn't teach you to go back and change your past karma, because you can't do that. But he does teach you the skills for dealing with both positive and negative things that come your way. Because what does the world have to offer? It has material gain and material loss. Status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. That's pretty much it. And although we like the good side of each of those pairs, we're going to meet with the bad side as well. And we be, if you have any wisdom, though, you begin to see that both sides have their advantages and disadvantages. And both sides have their opportunities to do something skillful. It may not be easy, but the opportunity is there. This is one of the reasons why we meditate to develop some strength of mind and sight. So it makes it easier to see what the skillful alternative is and to have the strength of mind to do it. So keep focusing on what's the good thing to do right now. We have this human life. We don't know how much longer we're going to have it, but we do have it right now. What's the skillful thing to do right now? You're sitting here meditating. Your mind starts wandering off. Are you going to follow the wandering, or are you going to come back to the breath? Come back to the breath. You're strengthening your mindfulness. You're strengthening your alertness. You're creating good new karma right now. And you're taking what you have from your past bad karma and you're shaping it in a good way. It's like learning how to be a good cook. Sometimes the vegetables in the garden are good, sometimes they're not so good. But a good cook can make good food out of whatever comes in into the kitchen. So try to develop the skills that are needed to be a good cook. And then whatever the garden sends your way, you're not going to have to suffer. And you're not going to create any suffering for anyone else as well.